All right, for the second time in ever, Forbes has brought the global business world to Africa. Actually, I'll correct that. For the second time ever, Forbes has brought the global business world to Botswana. Yeah. And for the second time, all of you, the delegates of the Forbes Under 30 Summit Africa, are in the most important room in the world this week is right here. And why? Why? It's true. Why? Because the most likely person in the world to be an entrepreneur is an African. That's fact. And actually, the most likely person in the world to be an, Afri an entrepreneur is a young African because 70% of this continent is under 30. And in fact, and I've said this before, the most likely person to be an entrepreneur in the world is a young African woman because women are more likely in Africa to be entrepreneurs than men. That's so this is the continent of entrepreneurs. And we got 1.4 billion people. This is the greatest growth market in the world. This is the continent that needs to create the most jobs globally. This is the largest free trade zone. This is the place with the most adaptive leapfrog technology. It's the birthplace of humanity. So if you want to know why this is the most important room in the world this week, it boils down to this. If Africa su succeeds, the 21st century will be the greatest in human history. And Africa, if Africa doesn't succeed, we're all in trouble no matter where we're from. And we have 50 countries out here represented out of the 1,000 of you. It boils down to that, so it boils down to all of you. Now, if you want, so I want to be optimistic. So if you want hope, I want to show a face that, you know, that gives me hope. Now, I love meeting everybody here. It can be overwhelming to remember everybody's name, but it's amazing to meet everybody. But as anybody who was here last year can attest, you could not forget Chris Cazzotti. Let's see. He had to be the most popular delegate last year. Friendly, positive. He was an amazing entrepreneur. He immigrated from DRC to South Africa, and he built up something called Click Media, which had just won an award as the best digital, me market, digital marketing company in all of Africa. So he came last year, but a week after the summit, he was, he was murdered uh, in DRC. And uh, that was the tragedy, because he had a lot to live for. But it's also a rallying cry. It's also a moment of optimism. Because here's somebody who in 29 years on this earth created something great. So, so Chris, was not, his life was not a tragedy, actually. It was something to celebrate. He was a role model. He was a role model. And he would want to be remembered that way. So I'd like actually everybody here to take 29 seconds of silence in honor of Chris. But what Chris would want was to take that time, take these 29 seconds, and think of something positive that you could take out of this summit, something you can learn, or something that inspires you. So let's take 29 seconds to be inspired by Chris. Thank you. Now, speaking of positive, you're going to be hearing a lot of positivity today. We have a lot of unbelievable speakers and unbelievable messages to deliver. We have, among other people, we have the most successful entrepreneur in, in, you know, in Tanzania, Mo Duji's here. We, we have the most successful entrepreneur in Kenya, Julius Malawi is here. We have creators. We have government ministers. We have superstar athletes. We have venture capitalists. We have a certain super famous performer, some people know him as Davido. Other people know him as Davido, and it depends where you're from, but I've been told it's Davido. So, so however you pronounce it, he will be here closing, and he's going to be, you know, we're going to have a lot of special surprises. So we're in for an unbelievable day. 